What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Oh, and yeah, we're gonna figure out if we can actually do the, the real ending or not. I think we're close to it. We had a lot of the right items, but we might not end up getting the best ending possible. Uh, being that it appears that I did miss something, or I progressed, I, I shouldn't have fought the Divine Dragon, I guess, is the problem. Sekiro streamer dies the fish, yeah. We have more stuff to do in Fountainhead Palace as well with the fish. I didn't realize that things would progress. I mean, that's not true, Cookie. How dare you? Um, excuse me, sir. I'm fighting on your side. Gonna watch the best ending streamer. Oh shit. Shige Shigekichi of the Red Guard. What's up, dude? Oh, are there ads? Son of a My health's gone. Okay, hold on. You're 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 not even the boss. You're just a guy. Okay, you're not just a guy. I'm sorry that I said that. Oh boy. Hi. Hello, sir. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, keep your gun out. That's good. Okay, this dude is stronger than your average soldier, apparently, also. Okay, he's a lot stronger than your average soldier. Can I make you counter that? There's two swords there, which makes me think I oh god. Brother. Boys, give me a fucking second to breathe here. Fuck, I almost got this. Okay, that did not go well. Yeah, I think... The, the thing that I'm unclear of for the secret ending, quote-unquote, is if Kuro is taken to the next area, is if you can actually do it or not. Because I feel like you need to do something with Kuro once, with the rejuvenating water and all that stuff. Or the child of reju reju child of rejuvenating reju rejuvenating water. I can't speak for this game, but I don't know. Wait, can I cheese you right here? Yeah. 
interesting. <laughs> That's the guy that I... Is he looking at me? Fuck, he is looking at me. He wasn't looking at me. Ooh, if he'll come in here by himself, there's two of them. Oh no. Now it's a fair, well, fair-ish fight. Ow. Whoa, all right, fire. Okay, you breathe fire. Well, wait, how are you breathing? Eh, that doesn't matter. Alright, broke his armor off. Alright. I got him now. Oh my! That's a swipe. That was lucky. Alright, that's one. Don't know how I didn't kill him, but it's fine. Got him. That was messy, but it's fine. And we got a prayer read, and we have five skill points. We should probably unlock a special skill now. I was kind of hoping to find a sculptor though, but uh. Might be a minute. All right, everyone's calmed down. Messy. Oh my God, where'd that come from? That sounded a lot worse than it actually was.
Oh my. Are there guys behind me now? I'm making this look really easy, I know. Okay. Oh, I saw. Okay. Idle right there. Nice. Whew. That was a, a mess. All right. What can I unlock? Just give me Ashen Across. And let's travel to. Let's just go back to Inner Sanctum really quick and see if um, we can get a, any dialogue with the, the kid over here. Damn. I wonder if I'm supposed to give the rice to somebody else. To, to change the dialogue. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Mushin Esoteric Text. A unique text of the legendary Ashina Mushin compound style. Young Ishin would stop at nothing in his lust for power, and this single minded search for strength ended in him taking Ashina for his own. This is the result of combining techniques from the styles he's encountered. This drive to find Ishin's achievements, and as such, this text will never be finished. Alright, so she's not going to drink now either. Crap, I think I screwed up a lot of storylines. Uh, alright. Um, whoa, what do we got here? Okay. That's cool. All right, well, I guess let's go back to where we were going. Oh, which would have been where? Underbridge, no. I th is, we're going in reverse, so outskirts, wall, stairway is the right place, I think. Tell me about it in here. <laughs> That's actually funny. I've never seen someone modify the emote like that. Okay. Oh, crap, hold on. Oh no, what did I do? It's pretty cool. Did we get a prayer bead from that fight? We did. An, an unrivaled sumo wrestler once served a great feudal lord. Dismissed after giving to drink, he fell to a life of brigandry. And so he was dubbed Juzo the Drunkard, which is who we fought at Harada Estate. Alright, so we're going to go back this way now. my new attack god damn it stop hitting me oh god they're gonna kill me
Die shit on me. Alright, wonder if this merchant's still active up here. Alright, what do you have? Scrap iron. Okay, so you, uh, we can get bind divine confetti here too. See some. I do not. I don't need anything from you right now, so that's fine. Is that another ogre? It is. Just a regular enemy version though. Can't see. that way actually towards the claw marks and fire because that's definitely the the safe option here what uh okay so i've actually never fought this boss before oh no that's not a sculptor's idol or it is but Yeah, so I've never actually fought this boss. Uh, fun fact, I'll just tell you guys about it real quick. That is the sculptor. That's his Shura ending right there, pretty much. Uh, we also need to enhance our attack power before this fight. The vine dragon of the Everblossom came from the west long ago, eventually making its way to this land. Some parts of Ashina are exceedingly old. Water coursing through her ancient rocks and soil allowed the dragon to take root. Tree dragon. I, I don't know how I missed the owl thing, and I feel like we can't get it now. I wanted to fight that other version of owl, but I have no idea how to fight this boss for the record. And I think he might be the hardest fight in this game also. Oh, and those are ads. Okay, they're not gonna actually, they're gonna focus on me. That's cool. Not this giant terrifying creature. I don't know what he does. I don't know if I can block this shit. I'm on fire. His arm is a whip, apparently. Um, okay, uh, I should have bought the item that lets me uh, get rid of burn, but I didn't do it. How do you get rid of burn? I have no clue. Hey, I was looking at something here. Fight him like Cleric Beast. Uh, focus the arm then? Ow. I've always heard this is like a Dark Souls boss, not a Sekiro boss. Uh, which I don't know how I'm going to handle that in this game, but... Probably shouldn't block that shit, I guess. Oh no, it doesn't build. Oh uh, yeah, I'm getting hurt from it, okay. I should probably this I felt the same way honestly. Uh yeah, I have malcontent. Does that work against it? Oh, he's a beast, you're right. Good point. My money. 
Actually, hold that thought before we go any further. That's how you would sort of describe it. He just ignores so many mechanics from Sekiro and does his own thing, right? Jump the charge attack. All right. Goku. Oh, are you out of... You, you're not. Okay. Here, give me... Give me that. Uh, are there any other merchants that are easy to get to? I just want to bank my money before I die over and over again to this boss. Because it's going to happen. I'm at least familiar with the other fights in this game. Not this one. Uh, if anyone's bored, if you want to look up, if someone wants to look up how to unlock the second owl fight, I would appreciate, I would appreciate you very much. And just, and also, if we I might have locked myself out of it, so if anyone can get that answer, that'd be cool. Right, but how do you get the bell? I never, like, Billy said that Emma gives you the bell, but she never gave me the bell. <laughs> oh. That'll have to do. See, Seth. Oh, you have to eavesdrop on her in the sculptor. Okay. Wow, then you got to do that early. Because she leaves the um, the area fairly early in the game. Oh, did I, I didn't upgrade the finger whistle. Yeah, like I, I know that I when I originally played the game, I was able to get that owl fight. I don't know where the where Lady Butterfly's kunai came from though. We can buy that now. It's almost worthwhile to play New Game Plus on this for me on this run because I do want to see everything. So it'll just have to be deciding whether or not I do it. Um, hold on one second. I'm reading. Give me a second. Where's the whistle? Oh, uh, it's. We have the item for it. I'm missing some kind of material, though. Uh, okay. For a Phoenix's lilac umbrella to get there. What is that material? Is that regular scrap iron? I think it is. But yeah, like I was like I was going to say, I think it might be worth doing a new game plus run, just to see everything in this game. And that is probably what we're going to end up doing. Yeah, yeah. Divine Dragon fight, that makes sense. I mean, I'm able to... I think that the game is pretty straightforward to run through now that I've been through it again. So that, that shouldn't be a problem. What do I need to go? I need to go... The dungeon should be fine. I think he sells scrap iron. I think that's what that is. Um... The question is that if we do a new game plus run, do I do we record all of it and post it on YouTube as the new game plus run, or do we just pick up like the little pieces that we missed? I don't know what would be what would, what would be better, okay. honestly. Uh yeah, give me one of these. Shit. I'll have to think about that part. I mean, I guess the only thing that we really missed was boss fights, right? So we, we missed the owl fight. I don't want to start over though. Like, I'm, we're gonna I'm gonna post what I've already recorded, obviously. All right, so we get Mountain's Echo, then that, then we get Malcontent. Did I use it? 
go. Just do some bonus episodes. That's, that's what I think would be the best move as well. I'll just, we'll do it on stream live, obviously, and then, um, why can't I, oh, I gotta get this first. Fuck. Okay. Now I need more scrap iron to go here. All right. Well, going back to the merchant then. I think that's what we'll end up doing. So we'll do the new game plus run on stream. And then when we get to sections of new content, I will uh, record that and that'll be the bonus episodes. I like that idea. I'm having fun with Sekiro too, so I didn't really want to end it. Not realizing that we were at the end of the game after Divine Dragon. Uh, that's the, the negative to only playing this game one time before. I also think on New Game Plus we might have outfits. Yeah, I would just continue playing it on Stream Cookie. Like once this is over. Maybe we could drop it down to like Goku. two days a week or something like that though. Shisha. Well, what makes you think FF6 was next anyway? Goku. Shisha. It's actually it was going to be a vote. I didn't say it would be next. I said it would possibly be next. I don't know if um. I don't know how long Final Fantasy VI is, but I don't, I'm not sure that if I would have been able to complete it before Gundam Breaker 4 comes out. You'll be in anyone not voting for it. Okay, so we can get this with a thousand. Uh, how many Fire Emblems have I played? I've played... Shadow Dragon, which is a remake of the first game. I've played... Um, the one with Roy in it. I played Blazing Blade, which is the one after the one with Roy in it. I played Sacred Stones. I've played the uh, the remake of like the second Fire Emblem game or third Fire Emblem game that was on DS. I've played Fates. I've played um, the one with uh, not Roy but other blue-haired protagonists. I can't remember their names. Uh, what else is there? I played a lot of them. Yeah, Shadow of Valencia. Yeah, I played that. Um, that's the one that I was thinking of. I played. Yeah, what is the one with the other blue-haired protagonist? What the hell is that game called? But I've played Fates, and I've played the one after Fates. We played Engage. Um, honestly, I have, I have like a lot of them. I don't remember all of their names right now off the top of my head because there's so many of them. But yeah, most of them. I am. Um, I actually have it set up on my computer to play some of the old any Super Nintendo ones uh, with the English patches on them as well. I did that a long time ago because I kind of wanted to play them at some point on stream. Awakening. Thank you, retry. That's what it's called. Yep. All right, that's malcontent. Fire hat's way down there. I don't have enough money to get fire hat right now. But yeah, most of the ones that I haven't played were the ones that were um, like NES and Super Nintendo era. Um, what the? I can't think of the names. I, I went down a rabbit hole at one point and watched a series on every Fire Emblem game, not full playthroughs, but like story and like review kind of things. They were like two hour episodes. Um, they were really good. Um, I can't think of the name. I think Jinji might have done them. He's a, a YouTube guy. Uh, let me think. What do I want to put on? Malcontent. Oh. Three, three houses. I played three houses. That that was I, that was the one I couldn't think of for some reason. Uh, I played and I played the. There's um, a Dynasty Warriors like one based off three houses that I've also played. Hi.
It's pretty fun, actually. If you've played Three Houses, that game's actually really cool because it's like an alternate uh, timeline kind of thing going on there. Which I thought was cool. I don't think there's a Demon of Kindness, unfortunately. So I don't want to block that stuff, I don't think, because it builds up burn on me. That was a bad idea. Oh, I can, I can, uh, grapple his head right there. Yeah, so he, this seems like, this is probably a health bar kill, not a stamina bar kill. Oh, I love Fire Emblem games, Save the World. I would play, so we played, um, I, I, actually, if I would play one other one on stream, it probably would be uh, Sacred Stones, because I love the, the Game Boy Advance ones. What's that? Oh. Okay. I jumped too early. I can probably block the foot stamps, I think. The rest, I think we just fight by running around crazily and don't let him touch us. Don't get greedy also like I did right there. That's, that's phase one. That's not too bad. Now what changes for phase two? Oh, there's a sword in his arm. That's cool. I almost don't want to walk on to him like 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 if, if, as if I was fighting a souls boss. Dude, all the dicks. This is literally a, a souls boss. You get the dick stabs even. All right, that's not too bad right there. That didn't feel horrible. It's just very different. But yeah, if we played a Fire Emblem game on stream again, I think it would either be. Sacred Stones or one of the Super Nintendo ones. Which I, I wish I could remember what the one I'm thinking of is. It's supposed to be uh, Thracia 776 or Thracia 776. That's the one that I have set up to play. Dude, that stance. I like that. But I'm a sucker for tactical RPGs, so... I should just jump everything, I think. I was too close that time. You hit it out of the shop from the battle maps, that's the thing. Let's try again. I'm gonna just die here. Uh, you know what? No, never mind. I'm not gonna die. I gotta jump that. Okay, that's the... Alright, slam bad. Oh, fuck.
Yeah, I mean, part the part of playing some of the Fire Emblem games, the ones that have the shops on the map like that, is is that's part of managing the battlefield and like making sure you have time to get to them, despite everything else going on. All right, I, so that part you cannot treat like a soul's boss and go under the legs. I almost don't want to lock on to him. The game's too... I'll, I'll screw that up, though. I, I need to lock on. All right, I gotta sprint that a little faster to stay on top of him so I don't get hit by the fire. That's straight down. I tried to go underneath him again. Yeah, this fight is definitely weird compared to every other fight in the game. Just for the way the flow works for it. Okay, I, I maybe I dodge the other way. Wait, what was the, the beep or the the uh, audible you're gonna get smacked warning? Didn't go off again. Divine Confetti might be good here. Wonder how much damage we do with that as opposed to just doing the regular attacks. Oh, jump. Yep, yep. Not the right thing to do there. eat that rice just so we get rid of it even though it's probably too late all right I gotta sprint not just dodge Oh, 
Okay. Nope, dead. I'm not using any confetti. I said I was just... Well, Uh-oh. I was just thinking about if it would be worth it or not. Okay, I guess jump over that? Oh god. I got you, Cookie. Hold on. That's, that that angle right there looks so fucking cool. Ah, oh, the headbutt. <laughs> phase two and did make phase one look like a joke. Oh, that's good. I like that. Glad to hear it. It's gonna be fun. All right. Let me see here, Cookie. People, happier birthday. Damn. Too late. My birthday's over. I guess if anyone else has a birthday, it's too late. Cookie, isn't your birthday coming up soon? Or did it already happen? Oh, it's for the confetti. I see it now. Oh, it's his for mine. Did I tell you happy birthday? I feel like I did. But I don't know now. All right, good. I'm glad I remembered. Obviously, how can I forget? Okay, that track. If you don't sprint early enough. Oh, I jumped on his head. I didn't want to do that. Well, this was going well. Now it's not. Oh, oh Malcontent does work here. I thought only... Okay, so you can use that all the whole fight. If Mr. Crab is still here, it'll be the boss by now. This is definitely going to be a, a tough one. Comparatively. Would have been nice to have, you know, those damage upgrades we would have had. If I would have fought, you know, the other main bosses that I missed. You miss him. You weren't even here for when I banned him. It was a bot. They weren't going to talk to you guys anyway. Ah, fuck. Oh, you were lurking. Gotcha.
See what phase two is all about. I did damage right there and he healed it back. Oh! Oh, uh, we can jump over that, okay. Phase two is not going well. If Wormmon doesn't have does you evolve into Stingmon, you're gonna mold. That's the first time I've seen him do that attack. Fuck, right into the hand. Yeah, I gotta just sprint to the side whenever I see him go down for the the claw attack. I'm not gonna heal heal the dragon rot until um, we're done with this fight. Alright, so if you double here, you pull him down, get the hit off. No, wait. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up.
Ah, I ran into him. Stab. All right, phase one down. That was better. Okay, why did I? I thought you can't jump that. Oh boy. is this? That's pretty sick, actually. <laughs> ah, the claw. Dude, what? <laughs> oh, it's hatred is growing with each phase. That's probably accurate, lore wise, honestly, Cookie. That was unfortunate. Revived right into the fire wave. I didn't like that. Didn't feel right. That one didn't feel right. Oh boy. All right, we're gonna try to use malcontent. More. I should try Divine Confetti, honestly. I haven't seen those in a hot minute. It's a hot minute. <laughs> Get it. I don't know what he's doing right now, to be honest with you guys. Really?
Okay, wait, how do you, what are you supposed to do against that? I see the, the jump indicator, but... But I feel like what it wants you to do there is use your grappling hook to pull him down and, pull, and, and jump towards him over top of the fire, but it's not really working that way. Just for fun. I want to see how much damage Divine Confetti does do against him. Oh, no. Brother, where is my Divine Confetti? Am I, am I like going right past it? Divine confetti, divine. There. That was really well done right there for me. I mean, it does better damage, obviously. I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, I guess every little bit helps, right? But I'm gonna end up wasting all of it. Until I, unless I, if, you, if I could do the phases like very cleanly, like so we could like get to phase three faster, I think it would be worth it. But the fact that I uh, I'm still not having a great time on his first phase. Probably would makes it a waste to use them, but also at the same time, what else are we gonna use them for if we don't use them to fight this boss? You know? Can't hurt him during that. that dowsing powder so fucking slow. Alright, that is the attack that I cannot do fucking right, is the, is the fire swipes. Dude, the stances he pulls off after attacking your sit is so cool.
three. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, yeah, there are. Defensive buff items. Yeah, pathetic. Hey. Calm down, retry. Alright, well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up right here. Uh, we made- that was a pretty good final attempt against Demon of Patriot, honestly. I'm kind of surprised that it went that well. Um, but yeah, so, being that I think we kind of broke the sequence of events to get the, uh, quote-unquote, like, secret ending, true ending, whatever you want to call it. We're probably going to finish out the game on this current playthrough. Um, so we have a few more bosses to fight and a few things to recap and go back and do. And then um, what I'll probably do is on stream we'll cover the new game plus run and whenever we get to a point for like a story beat that we missed on this one or a boss fight or whatever I'll record that up for a video. That'll be on YouTube after the completion of the final playthrough. And then obviously we'll finish the game again and we'll record, you know, the final sequence of events whenever we get the true ending. So, anyways, as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.